What if you wanted to be a little bit different with your tabs inside Elementor? Well, we have the navigation tabs over here, but rather than being at the top or underneath, they're actually overlaid. This is so simple and easy to do. So you can see things a little bit easier. I've gone and made the container this all sits within 75 VH, 75% of the screen. And inside of here where we have the actual tabs, we do have three individual tabs and each one of them also, when you go in and look at them, uh, the containers within the tabs by the way they're all 75 as well if you want to have full screen you would set it to be 100 bh so here's the really, really cool funky thing and it is so simple when you do go over to tabs you have the facility there for the direction at the moment it's at the top you could put it onto the right you could put it onto the left or you could put it at the bottom i'm gonna go and position it at the bottom now depending on how big the height of your tab title is obviously after you've stylized it with whatever extra padding or words you want to stick in there go and measure it now usually uh, the standard one if it was just one word it's going to be around about 50 to 55 pixels I know that because I have an inbuilt pixel ruler but what you want to now do is go and drop in this custom CSS code that's all it is it's that simple so this is the class name for the uh, the tab titles by the way I have not added my own class name or ID onto it this is just using the inbuilt Elementor one so if you do have multiple tabs on your website you might want to go over to your advanced tab go to layout go and give it a class name so let's just call it rocket and then if we go down to where we have our custom css and then i've popped in dot rocket before the actual code there so if you want to do that you can do just bear that in mind because once you stick this in it will apply for all the tabs across your website so let me just get rid of it so that you fully understand what we're doing margin top minus 75 if i go and change this to be zero it is now back in where it was also i should mention though this is quite important if you go over to style the gap uh, sorry the distance from the content is set to zero Notice here how you can rearrange it. I've just gone and set it to zero for simplicity because it meant that I could use my pixel ruler and then maneuver it. I've then decided that if I was to go with say minus 55, can you now see it's hitting the bottom edge there, roughly hitting the bottom edge. I've then increased that by 20. If I was to go and increase that to say 155, it's now 100 pixels away from the bottom. So you can modify that quite simply. And you do need to add in the Z index because if you don't, the title is now behind the slide. And that is how simple and easy it was. So you can now add in words. Don't forget though, that if you were to go over to your tab and where you have your title, you could drop in some HTML. So you might wanna show an image instead. Uh-huh, you don't have to have just words, okay? You can go and drop in an image. So they click the image, might be a miniaturized version of what you're showing on the slide. It might even just be the image, but when they actually see the slide, they get the image and the wording. So you can be pretty creative with what you do here. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat.